Hi, welcome to the HW Tech Team tutorial. Today's tutorial is about how to use integers, how to assign a value to an integer, how to declare an integer, and how to add, divide, multiply, and subtract integers. Today's program is in Java. As I stated before, we have to open the compiler. We can either have JGraphs or JCreator. As I have given videos tutorial before, you can manage to get the JGraphs at the JGraphs page. So our first goal is to open the JGraphs. We open the JGraphs just by clicking it. All right, it's already open. Our first part is to create a file, then go new, and then new Java. After we create our Java file, we need to give a name to our class. Let's call integers. Public class integers. All right, we already give our name to our class. So as I stated before, we are going to be using integers and I will be showing you how to add integers, how to divide integers, how to subtract integers, and how to multiply integers with the operators. So our first task is creating the class and giving a name to the class. So our second function is create the main function. So our next step is just public static void main string arcs as you can see our mom function is void which does not return any argument so let's declare x and y as integers int is equal, is gonna be integers in other words so int x comma y we already know that we have two integers which is gonna be x and y but we don't have no arguments into x neither y so our next step is to get arguments input in x and then in y so that when you add x plus y you get the results um let's just show you how to import class import java that util that scanner here we are asking and using the java library scanner objects to get the user input we can get the user input by simply declare the object scanner keyboard it's gonna be assigned new scanner System that in. in this part here we are getting we are getting the object for the input all right all done our next step is to output so that the user can see what the program is asking about. Let's give this first output. Alright, so let me explain the lines. Here we using system that out the print line. This class in here is useful to get the output. We're gonna be outputting please give me a value for x. The computer is gonna be asking to you, give me a value for x. So what we're doing right now is just 
assigning any value that the user input from the keyboard to X. So in here you can see that I use the same name as keyboard in the scanner object. I did use the same name as the scanner object because it will allow me to put any value the user input is into X by just declaring nest int. So our next step is to get the value for Y. We have to be doing the same procedure again. So let's ask. Alright, we already have our next step. I did and put the same thing as the top, but I changed the variable. Here you have to be y and here you have to be x. So in here, in this part, I am signing any arguments into y by just getting the user input. So our first task is to get the sum of x plus y. So Let's just declare system that out the print line the sum of the put plus x plus put the plus operator plus y equal sign plus we have to declare a new variable in total and you can put as initial value zero so we have no values inside total so we can use total in here by doing so total is gonna be plus or equal or total is gonna be assigned x plus y right now we have the total which is gonna be assigned x plus y so in here we're gonna be assigning total which is gonna be outputting the value now don't forget we need to close parenthesis so our program is error free after we develop our program our next task is to save it we already have the name of our program so we save it and then our next task is to compile it All right, our program is already complete. We'll have no errors. So, our next step is to run our program. Let's run it. Here, you can see that the computer is asking me for the value of x. Let's give a value, let's give a 10. Then I press enter, and then the computer is asking me for the value of y. So let's give a five. Now I press enter, and then the computer is outputting the sum of 10 plus 5 is equal 15. See? Now we already have the sum and we already learned how a sum works for integers. So now let's move to subtraction, multiplication, and division. Right now let's edit our coding. Now we have the sum, so let's do the following. Total is going to be assigned x minus y and you put close parenthesis then you system that out the print line the subtraction subtraction of x minus y is equal total all right we have our next step we get in the subtraction let's see what the output is giving out let's compile it then we run it let's give a value for x let's give 10 please give me a value for y let's give it 5 so now our program is doing the following 
I will probably give the sum of 10 plus 5, which is 15, and the subtraction of 10 minus 5, which is going to be equal 5. We have the right answer. Now we already go over addition and subtraction. Let's go over multiplication and division. Now let's move to multiplication. Total is going to be assigned x times y. Then we go and do 6 10 that out. The print line, the multiplication of x, the multiplication operator y is going to be equal total. Now we have already the multiplication. Now let's do the division. Total is going to be assigned x. divided by y. Now we will do the following. 6 10 that out the print line the division of x divided by y is going to be equal to total. Alright we have our next task. Let's compile our programs and then let's run our program. Our program is already operation complete, no errors. So our next step is to run our program. Alright, let's do the following as we did at the beginning. Let's give it 10 for value of x and then let's give 5 for the value of y. Now the program is outputting the sum of 10 plus 5 is equal to 15. Then it's doing the subtraction the subtraction of 10 minus 5 is equal 5 then it is doing the multiplication 10 times 5 is equal 50 and then as the last task is doing the division 10 divided by 5 is equal 2 as you can see our program is doing everything correctly so i hope today's tutorial was really helpful for you and Put any question and any arguments in the forum and XW Tech Team that info. We're going to be able to help you. Thank you. Have a nice day.